All right, this next one is the uh, third movement of that string quartet. And um, this, uh, this piece I actually wrote <coughs> um, for a benefit concert for, I was living in Spain at the time, and I was living in Granada, Spain, which is in the south of Spain. And there's a lot of goats in Spain. And there's a lot of goat herders in Spain. And there happened to be a little village around the area where there was a goat herder's daughter uh, who had leukemia. I know, she had leukemia. And uh, so they wanted to send her to um, Houston to get a bone marrow transplant. And um, so the whole um, city banded together and uh, said, okay, well, how can we send her to Houston to get a bone marrow transplant, this experimental procedure? And um, so some friends of mine were, at a, were doing this benefit concert that was gonna be on the radio and whatnot. And uh, I said, what if I were to write a piece for this occasion? And um, so they said that would be great. So I had three days to do it. <laughs> so that's right. <laughs> Never one to uh, shy away from a challenge. I came up with this piece, um, which was actually the very first uh, piece that I had ever played on the radio. So this, is, um, this one is called Prayer. And uh, you'll hear um, throughout the piece that it's, um, it's very programmatic to that. Uh, I tell you that story because it's very programmatic to that particular uh, story. You'll hear the girl's theme, which is a very simple theme, and then bad things happen to her, and then the, and then the uh, community comes to her rescue. At the end, they're left to realize that even though they've done this great thing, and I think that we can all relate to this, we want to help people out. We do what we can. In the end, her fate is ultimately left to God and um, out of our hands. We can only give so much money and so forth. Um, and so this is called prayer. Mm -hmm. 